Hello guys once again, Valdarian Pankin here with Wingspan Delivery Services going over another one of my instructional series videos. Uh, basically this one is going to be tips and tricks that I use uh, when it comes to scanning down systems. Alright, so let's get to it. already got some of these bookmarked here. Alright, so, jumping on in, first thing I do once I jump in, you should make it a habit, is to bookmark the wormhole that you came from. So, save location, this was the high sec to Tantaris, boom, there we go, oh, messed that up, it needs to go into the other folder. Okay. Um, second, I open up my system map and check, take a look around. I've got this cloak timer, so I have time to do all this stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a safe so that I can scan uh, in safety. Um, if you stay within 5k of the hole, you can easily jump out to, um, but there are ships that can insta pop you. Uh, like Artie Loki's and some legions and stuff like that, so I prefer to stay in a deep safe. Uh, hotkey for that, control B. Change back to my personal folder. Safe spot. Then I just watch my little guy right here. As soon as he gets in the middle. Boom. Alright, so once I land, I go ahead and warp back to that. Remember guys, hotkeys for descan is the V key Victor nothing on D scan in here and I chose this because pretty much all these signatures plus the wormhole I came from is going to be within D scan of me so I have pretty good situational awareness. I could have gone way out here in the middle of nowhere but then I wouldn't have known what's in the system. So I got the majority of it right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop probes. Alright so um, one of the first things I do um, just because corporation uh, policy is to get the bookmark the actual signature for the high sec. So since it's already bookmarked this makes it easy. If you don't know that um, you can click on a signature and it centers your camera on that signature um, or whatever is on the map. Um, if you want to center on your probes, double click this, the white box and it will center on your probes. Alright, so we click on the signature there. Oh, just so happen to be already on it. A um, couple of the hotkeys that I use all the time are going to be double clicking in space. And that saves me time from having to press these two buttons right here. Also, instead of using the slider like this, if you just hold the Alt key, Alt key, and then use your mouse wheel up and down, it'll change. Since I know where this one is at because it's bookmarked, I can go straight to 0.25 AU, and then press the B key, Bravo, and that will initialize your scan. Um, make sure you're always pressing that V key, especially if you don't have a cloak. Um, it makes it a lot safer for you. and You'll have a lot more essay on what's going on. Um, another thing you can do um, is right down here with your AU, just hover over it and you can use your mouse wheel to go down by 0.1 increments. A lot of people don't know that you can use your mouse wheel just by hovering it over that. Same thing with this. If it's, as long as it's over the bar, you can use your mouse wheel to go through the angles. Um, and then if you want to use, for some reason, whatever, uh, kilometers, you can change it from AU to kilometers. Um, anyways, 
going back, um, I digress. So one of the things that basically saved me a lot of time with scanning was using the 8AU rule. This is a, this signature right here is a good example. Um, basically, what I used to do was come up here, put it on 8AU, center on the signature, and you know, and then scan normal. Well, one of the things I learned was that all signatures have to spawn within 8AU of a planet or a celestial. So if I put it here, 8AU. B and V. Not only does it get this one, but it gets any signatures that are within the A e A U rule from this one celestial. Boom. Okay. So I am using Core Scanner Probe ones on this Heron. Um, so it is going to be a slower and less accurate scan than using Sisters. If you have a split. If you have a split like this, the easiest way that I found to figure out which one, which signature it is, is to center it on that line and make sure that both signatures are inside of the inner ring here. B and V. Then four, and then once it gets to anywhere between like twenty percent and whenever it's orange or yellow, usually one AU will get it to one hundred percent. B and V. A um, couple things people don't realize that you can do. Um, you can actually scan with combat probes as well. Um, the only difference is that the lowest that it will go is 0.5 AU. So you have, if you don't have very good scanning skills and you get to like a, a data or relic site, then your combats won't be able to scan that signature down at 0.5 AU. Um, so you might be stuck trying to scan something that you won't be able to. So if you're just doing general scanning, it's better to do uh, core probes. If you get the ring one, just center on the X inside the ring and make sure that ring is inside that diameter right here, the radius of this. One last time over here, using the 8AU rule. Scanning this one down. Probably will be over here. Yep. Four. And then should be good with just one AU to close it out. So I have a feeling this one might be a data or relic site. Remember to click that V key. Yep, there it is. Go down at 0.25, center, and scan. So 
We have one more signature I didn't see here. Oh, two more. Uh, but I won't bore you with that. Just remember uh, V key to scan, B key to or V key to scan your D scan, B key to scan with your uh, probes. Alt plus your mouse wheel equals size of your scanners. Um, you can change your range with your mouse wheel here. Change your degrees for your D scan with your mouse wheel there. And a um, couple other things that you might want to be interested in, just for more shortcuts, holding the V key and clicking on whatever you want to look at will move your D scan to that. So holding, again, holding the V key and clicking will do that. Um, sometimes I will use this little option. Um, if there's a lot of signatures, like I go into a shatter or something, I got these blue orbs from my scanners and my, the green from my D scan. I can kind of take away some of that clutter by, you know, turning on and off the uh, visual overlay. Um, I also turn the anomalies off so I have less clutter. All right. And that's how I scan. See you see you guys in game.